Hey guys, and welcome to game number 76 out of 100 of the Mac vs. Machine series, where I'll be playing 100 games of Scrabble against the top online bot, HastyBot. We're currently sitting at 46 and a half wins, 28 and a half losses, so we need four more games in order to clinch the series, and hopefully we can get one of those four wins right now. So let's jump right in, and great start for us. We will be opening with a bingo. The only question is what? So lots of options here. We could do something like Orbiest. But I'd probably rather not float an E. Maybe Bistort? That's a reasonable option. The nice thing about this is it floats a duplicate T, so it doesn't give him a unique seventh tile to bingo through. So that would slightly reduce his bingo percentage. Could also do Bistros. But I'd rather not put the O next to this double if I can help it, I think. I mean, the one annoying thing about Bistort is that it does take an S, and that S hook could be kind of annoying to block. So maybe you are better off playing Bistros and just conceding some big J plays. On the other hand, it also does give two S's to play through, which isn't ideal. So I think Bistort is probably fine. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that's definitely something that we're happy to see. He uses one of his S's playing Vos and Bistor, and we also have drawn another bingo with Shelling from this S, which I think is our only bingo on this board, so we're going to go ahead and play it and hope he can't triple-triple back, and he doesn't. And let's see, so we have, we almost have Bandings, which is valid, I'm almost positive, but doesn't quite work. Don't think we have any bingos here. But we probably want to play through this G just to block that spot. So maybe Baning, 30 points, keeps DS. That's not too bad. Don't think we're going to be able to score much more than that. Baiting is no good. Yeah, I don't see anything better through the G. And we're just not going to really be able to score anything else elsewhere. And given we're already up 80 points, it definitely makes sense to take out this spot in the triple lane. So let's go ahead and play Baining. He dumps the Q. So, all right, we're definitely in a good position after the first two turns of this game. We're up 85 points. Pull the J. A lot of E's to go with it. So this is a little bit clunky, but we should have something reasonable, I would imagine. Question is what? I actually don't see anything great with this J. Sometimes having the J and a bunch of E's can be deceptively annoying. We might have to play something like Jete over here through this T. At least it scores 19. It does take out the O and the T for bingoing, which isn't bad. This is starting to be a fairly closed board. So if I play Jete and then play through the L and I and Shelling, it's actually starting to become pretty quickly bereft of bingo opportunities, which is very good for us given the score. I could also play through some of these tiles immediately, like the hyper defensive option would I guess be something like this, which isn't bad. I mean, it keeps the J does really make his life actually pretty difficult. I mean, the more I look at it, the more it is an interesting option because, like, where is he going to bingo after this? I mean, there is this O and this T still, which Shate does block. So maybe we are better off than just blocking that immediately and then blocking the L next turn. And, I mean, also the nice thing about DEGS is I have a better chance of maybe pulling another bingo myself, which would basically just end this game on the spot at this point. So I could kind of go either way here. I'm not really sure which makes more sense. I think I'm going to probably just stick to my initial instinct and play over here. Oh, I guess I should have played uh, Geld. Although if I played Geld, he would have had Cool Wars through this O. So actually it wouldn't have ever really mattered. But that's okay. We're still in a... Pretty good position here. So what do we want to do? I don't think Gooped is good. Pretty sure Gooped is no good. I'm definitely not going to play it. So if we don't play Gooped, then I don't see any great options. Do we have anything here with like I guess there's, oh, there's Ogled. That's not bad. 
PRS is a pretty good leave. 27 points. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Pled, I don't want to keep a G. I wouldn't mind saving the E, but I don't really see a good place to play, like, Dog or anything like that. I mean, there is Dog here. Yeah, that may be better. So what is that? That's 21. And I think Ogled was 27. It's probably worth 6 points to keep the E. Just, I mean, for two reasons. One, obviously, an increased bingo percentage. If I can pull, if he doesn't block this 7 line on column M, I have a good chance at pulling a bingo here. And number two, just insurance if I have a bad draw with Constance, just to make sure I have at least one Val to work with next turn. I think it makes sense to play Dog and sacrifice the 6 points. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, he plays Fry, and yeah, this will work out. I have drawn Waspier, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and play that. There's really not much else to consider here. And he plays Hat. We have a nice draw here, pulling the other blank. Do I have a bingo? Almost Egg Fruit or Fatigue. Not quite. If I have a bingo, it's almost certainly through this R. Fig Eater doesn't work. Not seeing it. Refulgent would be a 9, and it doesn't work either. Four guts. Yeah, we're like one tile off of a bunch of things, but I don't think anything actually plays. Yeah, I don't think so. So I guess then we want to play something here, like feet? GU blank. I really don't like that too much. But score's 32. I could also, I mean, just play more defensively, but it's not that easy to block this. I mean, I guess I could play this. I mean, that's actually not crazy, given I have the blank. Like, it's going to turn into a pretty ugly game if I do this, because I'll, I'll just sort of be grinding it out. It may be better for win percentage, I'm not actually sure. But GU blank, I mean, I don't know, it could also backfire, I guess, if I play this. Yeah, I mean, G-E-T blank. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about the right-hand side. There's also no S's left for its. I mean, I guess the worst-case scenario is something like Ilex. But that's only 50. I'll still be up. I don't know. It's not really my style, though. And it's going to be... I mean, G-U blank could backfire, but I think it's it's a little bit more kind of like how I typically enjoy playing to play a play like Feet. So why not? Let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully he doesn't hit a big bingo through the R. It's still very unlikely. And dugouts? No, I don't think. Oh, we have out guide. So I can play out guide to the E. He did open this line with twit. There is a T left. I could. I wonder if it's crazy to play dugout, saving the blank. This is actually interesting because. So I can play dugout for 31. I go up 92 holding a blank. Or I play out guide. Yeah, you know, I don't want, I don't, I'm not going to do this because the thing with out guide is I go up 120, but I could lose here because he could hit detox for 80 and then hit, or well, I guess not detox because that uses the, the T, but there's definitely stuff he could hit. He could hit Carex for 80 or something like that. And then if he pulls the T, this is actually really hard to block. Like it's really unlikely that that sequence of events happens, but I think it's much more conceivable than losing after a dugout because now I'm up. 90. If he bingos through this R, then he's not going to be scoring that much, and I'll be a, I'll have a big comeback on the bottom. I think this is actually better. I, I think this is actually better. I just want to make sure I'm not missing another bingo like through that R or 7, but I don't think so. Anything with an H? No. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything else. All right, Um. so he does get ZA, which is, which is fine. I mean, yeah, now... I don't have any good scoring tiles, but he isn't going to really have much either, I don't think. So yeah, now I probably just want to play like a non or something here. I mean, it really doesn't give anything back. Takes out that scoring spot if he drew the M or the P. So hard, hard to, again, very hard to imagine losing or really getting into any trouble after this play. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> and he he plays Mac, which is uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, it sets up an S hook, of course, for Smack, which is not available given the pool. 
And do I have a bingo through that M? Alarmed? Or maybe from that C? I feel like I should. But maybe I don't. Let's see. A, B, C, D, Mac Macula. No, that's no good. Don't see it yet. Cannula is also no good. Huh. Adulate? Not going to play, right? Huh. It feels like I should have anything. Or I should have something. I don't think there's anything through this A either. There's just too many vowels. Huh. Okay. So if I don't have anything, then... This is getting a little close for comfort. I guess if I don't have anything, I just want to play like something here. Maybe even Lad. Just to make sure he can't bingo. I don't want him bingoing from the C either. Yes, it's actually kind of annoying. Huh. Or maybe I just leave that open and figure if he bing... Yeah, why don't I do that? If I There's nine in the bag, so if I play off like two tiles, I can just sort of figure if he bingos, I'll counter bingo out and win. That may be a better strategy. Like, just going all out to play something like Val. Because, I mean, I have ADEL blank. Like, I don't know how I'm going to not bingo. It's going to be very, very unlikely. Like, I feel like I just do this, because then there's seven in the bag, so if he bingos either through this U or on the top left, he'll be emptying the bag, and if I just bingo out, I win. It's very hard to imagine losing after after Val. Like, maybe I'd, even if I draw, like, two R's, I should be fine. I mean, I'll have, like, D Merle in two spots. Yeah, I, I think I just play Val and win. I just want to double-check I'm not missing a bingo here. Go through the alphabet one more time, but I just am not seeing it immediately. Yeah, I really don't think there's something there. If I see alarmed. Alright, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and play here. And he plays Van. We do pick up the X. Uh, huh. Maybe now I actually don't have a bingo, but I think even if he bingoed, I would have probably been able to outscore him with the X, to be honest. So, all right, then do I just play... I don't have anything through this U, do I? No, I don't think so. I mean, I could just play... If I play Prex, I should be fine, I think. I mean, is there... I mean, if he plays Roturier, I think that's the one thing he could have, right? He could have, like... Or he could have Creditor. Yeah, so okay, I guess I need to figure out if he plays Creditor or Roturier, am I guaranteed to bingo back and win, or at least score enough? Because I'm pretty sure those are the only things he can have with that pool. So if, so if he plays either one, so that's R, 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 E, I, O, basically. So I need I draw like a D and E and I. I draw like, so if I draw a D, E, I, I'm fine, I have laddies. If I draw D, E, R, I have ladders. E, I, R, I have redials. D-I-R might be a problem after Roturier, but I'll look at that in a second. E-I-R I said is fine. Yeah, there should be four possibilities. Okay, so if I if he plays Roturier and I draw D-I-R, he gets an E. Then do I not have an Alpingo? So that would be 70 for Roturier. Uh, so then that puts him up. Yeah, that actually might be a problem. But he might not have enough for his E. So Roturier is 70, 432, 416. I played Drails and Zaps. 4, 5, 6, 18, 32, 448 to 432. He'd need 14. Yeah, he's not getting that. So I'll just win in the end game. Okay, I think this wins 100%. I hope I didn't screw up the math. All right, so he's just going to play TI, and now I'm just going to bingo out with something. Uh, with what? I mean, I have 27 seconds. I'll just try to find my best bingo, but it doesn't really matter. 
Anything from the C, last written article, decryals, radicals, radicals, uh, nothing? Calibered. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. So 502. I just missed three dials and zaps. That's funny. <laughs> That's so funny, guys. I, I totally, I was talking about redials and zaps if he bingoed out. And like, it just totally slipped my mind there. Because he didn't, he didn't play Roturier. And I just totally forgot I had redials and zaps. That's funny. That would, I mean, that would obviously scored like 20 more points. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's only a little bit of spread, but that's, that's actually hilarious. Like, I, I saw that. Obviously, I was saying if he plays Roturier, I can have redials and zaps to, to come back and win. But, I just didn't see it after he played TI. That's actually hilarious. Um, but okay, let's uh, let's go back from the beginning and, and see what else I might have missed. Uh, yeah, so Bistor, uh, you could play Strobic too, but uh, I don't really like putting the S over here in the triple line because that makes it very easy for him to uh, hit a big bingo to come back. So Bistor looks good. Oof, he plays Vos keeping OQY. Is that worth it? You might want to exchange here. I mean, you really don't want to be keeping OQY when you're already down so many points. I would have exchanged and hoped to bingo back next turn, I think, personally. Um, oh, I, I missed helloing here. Yikes. Um, that's bad. Uh, yeah, it's, that's really weird. I saw shelling immediately, and I just uh, I just didn't see helloing. So, kind of sloppy. I mean, it's, it's not very many more points. It's only two more points, but it uh, obviously keeps things a lot tighter. So... Pretty big strategical mistake at that, at that juncture in the game. Uh, just very, very sloppy, this game, it seems. Um, but yeah, he plays Modi to come back. Again, I hate keeping the Q, but I guess for 35 points, that's probably worth it. I mean, you really don't want to be playing QI for 11 when you're down 100 either. So, you know, there's still four U's left. Maybe he has some chance to pick up a U and, and get a big bingo on his next turn. Uh, Baining looks good. Yeah, now he finally gets rid of his Q. Yeah, this was an interesting turn. I think this is fine, just getting rid of the J and then hoping that I can play through the L and the I next turn if he doesn't bingo. As it turns out, um, as I mentioned, if I had played Geld, he still would have uh, been able to bingo with cool wars through this O, so uh, he was going to bingo either way. Yeah, Dog looks good. I do think it's better than Ogled, as I mentioned, just uh, because keeping the E is worth six points, both for the bingo per percentage and also just for avoiding scenarios where I don't draw any vowels on the next turn. So Dog looks pretty good. He scores with Fry. I do draw into Waspier. Uh, he plays Hat. Yeah, okay, so no bingos here. Didn't consider this. It's actually interesting just because it does set myself up a very nice seven line on the bottom if I can hit that. But it also could give back a lot to him, so I don't think I'm a fan of that. FEU was maybe, honestly, better for win percentage. It may be what I would have done in a tournament, but I don't know. Feed is still a little bit more my style, just being aggressive with the blind, keeping it more open. I think it's perfectly fine, too. Uh, he plays Wit, which uh, keeps a pretty strong leave, A-C-K-R. And yeah, as I mentioned here, I uh, I did see Outguide, but I was a little bit worried. If there were no T's unseen, I definitely would have been going with Outguide, but I was worried about the uh, T-hook for, for Twit, because it's very, very hard to block with the C here. Like, I'm going to need to probably play something like Ace for 5 points to block it. And I was just worried that, yeah, after Outguide, I do go up 120, but if he hits a big play here, like with the X or something like that, and then the twit hook becomes a nagging possibility, I really didn't want to go into a situation like that. And I just felt after dugout, I have the blank, I go up 90. There really just aren't a lot of threats on this board, so I felt very confident in my ability to to hold on here. And that's basically what happened. He does get down Za for 48 points. Um, I guess uh, I guess I could have played Allen over here as well, but uh, I kind of like Anon just because they're is an M and a P, so uh, I'd really rather not allow 40-point plays there. I don't want to allow things um, things like Pro-M, P-R-O-E-M, which will score like 45 points. So I think playing Anon just to take that spot out makes sense. And uh, he, he makes a, a good play here, well, for a good play for several reasons. One one of them, because Mac is, uh, is just a great word in general. I mean, for obvious reasons. And uh, number two, it uh, makes it annoying for me to block everything here, just because this C isn't overlappable with no two other words with a C. So I kind of have to choose. Do I want to leave this all open? Do I want to block just the M and the uh, and the A? Do I want to block the C? And, uh, okay, so I'm glad at least to see I did not miss a bingo here. Uh, definitely not going to do something like this and give back an easy sevens line. 
Um, I didn't really look at plays from the C, but this also gives back an easy line for seven. So I, th I think my play is good here tactically, given I have the blank. Um, like I'm not up enough that I'm going to feel super comfortable banking on outrunning him without a bingo if he bingos back. So I think just being aggressive here and opening up even more real estate, given I have such a strong lead, figuring if he bingos, he's going to be probably opening even more lines and I'll just bingo out with seven left in the bag and then win. I think this makes a lot of sense. It's a bit counterintuitive. Normally, you know, what everyone says, and it's generally good advice, is if you have a lead, try to shut down the board so they can't bingo and come back. Uh, but sometimes you are actually better off doing the other thing, in particular when you have uh, what you think is going to be a much stronger rack than your opponent on average. You often, even when you have a lead, do, instead of trying to play defense uh, and leaving them still some marginal lanes, want to just blow it open and figure that, okay, if we trade bingos, that's just as good as neither of us bingoing. So uh, I think this is one example of those. I'm happy with this play for sure. Uh, he doesn't quite have a bingo here. Navisert doesn't quite fit through the C. Vontier is no good, so he just plays Van. Uh, yeah, and here I just, like I said, had to make sure after Prex, because I was uh, I was leaving stuff open through this through this U. Uh, I can't block both Roturier through this U as a possibility if uh, if D E I R is in the bag, and I uh, and as well as Creditor from this C. Uh, actually, wait, Roturier that wouldn't leave D E I R. It would leave D E E I. So I I actually messed up my analysis a little bit, uh, which we'll look at now in a second. Um, but yeah, Roturier would leave D E E I in the bag. Creditor would have left E E I R. Yeah, E E I R. Um, so my analysis was slightly off, but I think in principle it still holds because, right, so let's look at Roturier first. So once again, uh, if he has Roturier, then that means the four tiles in the bag are D E E I just by process of elimination. So there are a few possibilities then for me. I could pull D E E which would give me D leads on the bottom as an out bingo. I could pull D E I, which would give me laddies as an out bingo. And I could also pull E E I, which would give me A dials, A E D I L E S. So slightly different uh, words than what I was talking about during the game, just because I thought the pull was D E I R for some reason when I was uh, I was going through it. I'm gonna slightly brain blame uh, time pressure from that since I was down to just a couple minutes and trying to permute all those possibilities. But uh, I had the right idea and it still, I think is a fine play. Uh, if Creditor was, what he plays and uh, the bag would have been, what did I say, E-E-I-R? Yeah, E-E-I-R. So again, E-E-I would give me A dials, E-E-R dealers or leaders, and E-I-R, uh, which is what I drew, redials uh, dialers. Um, so yeah, Prex looks like it wins 100% because any of the bingos he could he could have, uh, I'm guaranteed to just draw something with zaps. So this, uh, this was a good play. Again, slightly off of my analysis, so sorry about that, guys, if I confused you with some of the words I was talking about during the game, but uh, I had I had the right idea, just didn't quite permute it correctly, but it turns out that with any of the, the draws that I could have gotten uh, if he were to bingo, that I still would have had an out bingo. So this was a perfectly fine play. Uh, as it turns out, he just plays TI, and uh, and again, this this is just stupid. I mean, I have no explanation for this. I, I just like literally forgot about the spot with Zaps. I, I think I just got too in depth with my analysis and then I was feeling the time pressure and I just like literally forgot about it. So pretty funny. Uh, of course I should just play derails, redials, dialers, or uh, something down here for 85. But uh, instead I just like forget that that spot exists and I'm like, okay, what do I have through the C? And I, I do manage to find Calibert um, for, for 72, which is uh, my, my best bingo if I don't see that spot. But yeah, real, really weird. So kind of a, an odd lapse there. A couple odd lapses that game. Uh, missing that, but I mean, that one didn't really matter. Uh, missing helloing is just bad with the with the shelling play. I mean, that's just careless. Like, uh, I don't know how I didn't see that. But um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with how I played. Uh, I think VAU was a really good play. I'm, I'm very happy with that decision strategically. Again, a little bit counterintuitive to not block when you have the lead, but I think it makes sense there. Uh, Prex, I think, was, again, my analysis was a little bit off, but in principle, it was a very good play. And uh, and yeah, I think, I mean, other other than helloing, really, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I don't, this uh, redials thing at the end is just sort of a silly goof. It didn't actually affect the outcome of the game, um, but helloing very much could have. That That's a bad mistake that I really should never be making, especially with a with, with a rack with no blanks like that. So very sloppy there, but otherwise pretty good game. Um, and uh, yeah, good to come away with the win. So that brings us to, I believe, uh, 47.5 victories, which means we only need three more after today to uh, 
clinch the series. So hopefully we'll be able to keep going strong uh, next week with game number 77. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all soon for game 77. Have a good one. Bye-bye.